Hi there, just wanted to post an update video. Uh, I've been working on our uh, coil gun project here. Uh, specifically, I'm converting our breadboard circuit into a real circuit board. So I've been playing around in Eagle, and then this is Chili Pepper you're looking at here, um, to drive the CNC mill. Um, and I've just etched a board here. Let me just zoom in on that. That looks nice. So this is the second board that I've milled. <laughs> um, I, have this, I haven't made very many circuit boards yet on this thing, so I'm still kind of playing around with settings. Uh, but I think this will do for now. And uh, I think I'm going to solder some parts onto here, so I'll, I'll tie in some video of me soldering the parts on and the board being milled. Um, actually, the video you'll see here is the previous version of the board being milled, but it's very similar, so you'll get the idea. So here's my first attempt at milling the, uh, well, what I thought was going to be the finished version of the board, but I came up with a new one. Um, I designed it in Eagle. Um, I've used Eagle a little bit in the past, but it's been quite some time since I've picked it up, so it's a, it's quite the learning curve. Uh, I'm using Chili Pepper to do all the milling uh, because it has a nice auto level feature, and it will also import Eagle board files, uh, which is also really nice. And so here you can see I've got a time lapse going here. I just sped it up a whole bunch. So we don't sit here all day watching this. <laughs> it's much, much slower in real life. Uh, I'm using a 30 degree V-bit to do the milling. And uh, you can see here in a bit, it'll, uh, or did it already do it? It sent, yeah, center punches the holes. Now I'm gonna change the tool uh, for the hole drilling tool. And now we're drilling all the holes. And now we're cutting out the board. And coming up next here, um, I'm going to be assembling the board. And boy, these, these jumpers, so this is a single-sided board. So I had to put jumpers in because it wasn't possible to route everything on one layer. And uh, I, I need to figure out how to make these pads bigger because they sure were hard to solder. <laughs> I uh, created a few shorts and I've uh, learned soldering to a board that doesn't have solder mask is hard. <laughs> Especially one where there's not very much gap between the traces like this and where it's just isolation routed. Um, it, it makes it a lot harder. So I'm, I'm doing a lot of testing there to make sure I'm not creating any shorts. Uh, soldering the sockets on actually was pretty easy. More testing. Get those connectors on there. Yeah, anything with large leads was Pretty easy. It's just those jumpers that were a huge pain. Getting all the capacitors and resistors on now. Uh, that's the other thing. The, the spacing on my resistors was pretty narrow. I had to bend the leads real tight to get those in there. So I need to pay attention to that in the next version. And it looks like it's just about completed. Didn't take too long. Okay, well there it is. I've uh, soldered all the parts on. Hook it up. Let's plug it in. Light comes on. Let's give it a test. Load in a projectile. Your special measuring pencil. 
hook up the battery and push the button still works no fire that's a good thing